Howdy. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to build a chatbot using Python and AIML. I am going to create this chatbot as a web application, so that I can share it with my friends. Following is the demo of our final result. Okay, let's get started. I am using Python Virtual AMV. We need to install following packages to create our bot. Here I am using Flask as my server, now let's import them into our script. If you don't know what is Flask, Flask is a micro web framework written in Python. Here I am just writing a basic skeleton for our Flask application. Alright let's run the server and see it in action. Now let's talk about AIML. What is AIML? AIML, or Artificial Intelligence Markup Language, is an XML dialect for creating natural language software agents. We can think of it as our chatbot brain. You can learn how to create complex AIML from following website. Alright let's create a simple AIML file and load it into our bot. AIML start and ends with an AIML tag, inside that it will have a category tag which will contain our pattern and template.
Notice that the pattern text are uppercase. Now let's load this AIML and test it. I am going to use following AIML, which have wide range of topic. The download link will be in the description. Let's test it. Great, it's working. Now let's build our user interface. I'm going to copy some CSS and JavaScript. But don't worry you can download them, I will leave those links in the description.
do not worry about base.js. It's just a library that makes DOM manipulation simpler, yes similar to jQuery. Now, we need to render the index page. Before I explain the JavaScript, let's test it. Now let's see, what app.js doing. First it's clearing the result box, which is our chat will appear. Then whenever the enter key pressed on the message box, it check if there is any message, if it is then sending an AJAX request to our API route, and printing the result in result box. Let's see it in action. Sorry my mistake, if I am on the same server, then I can use the relative path to send the Ajax request. You can use socket IO for more complex and long term conversation, but this enough for now. You can get these files from my GitHub. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.